Hey guys, I wanted to take you through a workout today. It's a really simple agility and explosiveness workout and we're gonna start with a nice core warm-up. All you need to get this done is one heavy weight, like a 45 pound kettlebell that we're using, and sets of cones, water bottles, or any obstacle that you can jump over and touch, either in the sand or on hard court. We'll take you through it. For the first exercise, you're gonna put two cones, each 45 degrees from your feet. So, measure off one cone by going two steps away so that you have two feet of space in between those cones. You're gonna take a ball, or you could use your hands to reach for the cones or water bottles, whatever you're using, and you're going to alternate by touching each cone 25 times with each leg. Be sure to keep your balance and stand up in between each touch. You're gonna to do 25 cone touches with each cone and each leg. After that, we're gonna get into a little bit of core warm up. This one's gonna be for our abs. You're gonna keep those cones directly next to your hip bones. From there, take your ball, or you can use hands, but I like a little object to hold. We're going to lift our legs and touch behind each cone again 25 times. From there, we're gonna get a little bit of a low back warm up. So, make sure that the cones are on the sides of your knees. From there, lie on your chest. Keep your chest up. Reach for each cone from side to side while your chest is up. That's really gonna target the low back muscles. After we've completed all that, we're ready for our work portion. This is the agility and explosiveness part of the workout. So we're gonna set up six cones and they're gonna each be about three yards from each other. You wanna place them at a diagonal so that you can transfer forward and side to side using a step shuffle, step shuffle technique. Other people will call this an icky shuffle. Once you get through those cones, we also have some hurdles that are going to be placed again in a diagonal spot from each other, about two yards apart because we have to make some lateral moves and they're gonna be a smaller distance. Those are gonna be the ones that we're jumping over. Finally, you're gonna to get to your 45 pound kettlebell and you're gonna get 25 squats. We're gonna do this for 10 rounds. important to breathe during this time. That's round one. Walk back to the start and get 10 full rounds. Enjoy, good luck, work hard. <laughs> 